Queen Elizabeth has visited France 13 times, more than any other country in Europe. From René Couty to the incumbent Emmanuel Macron, the Queen hasn't only lived through key moments in French history, she's also played a part in it. Her last state visit to France was in 2014, when she participated in commemorations for the D-Day landings alongside François Hollande and Barack Obama. And all eyes were on her as the only head of state to have actually participated in World War II. During her visit, the monarch received love from the French, a feeling she said was mutual. Je me rappelle le plaisir que j'ai eu à découvrir ce beau pays pour la première fois et à cultiver à mon tour une grande affection pour le peuple français. It was in 1948 the then princess took her first solo trip abroad and she chose France. It didn't take her long to charm the nation. Remontant les Champs-Élysées, la princesse se rendait au milieu des acclamations d'un Paris qu'il avait déjà adopté. A keen Francophile, it would be the first time she'd impressed with her fluent French, which she'd learned as a child. La France et la Grande Bretagne se doivent de moi. When she looks abroad, um, she was brought up to see France as the channel for um, literally crossing the channel and the channel for um, Britain's relationship with particularly the rest of Europe. In 1960, she welcomed Charles de Gaulle as a hero of World War II. And given her role in the wartime effort, she had a great respect for the first leader of the Fifth Republic. Next to visit was Georges Pompidou, then Valérie Giscard d'Estaing, whose royal wave made her smile, and he was even gifted a puppy from the Queen's kennels. Relations between the two nations were taken up a notch when the monarch inaugurated the Channel Tunnel with President Mitterrand, which went on to become a symbol of Franco-British ties. Franchir. Chanel. Dans une confortable voiture, la vôtre, madame. President Jacques Chirac, Nicolas Sarkozy and François Hollande would also witness the affection the Queen had for France. And most recently, Emmanuel Macron, who she hosted in 2019 for the 75th anniversary of D-Day in Portsmouth. Throughout her life, she came to France not just for official visits, but also many times for her beloved horse racing. Thus, it was only fitting that President Macron gifted her a horse to mark her Platinum Jubilee this June.